Hey folks, today we're going to take a fresh look at remove.bg. Now why am I doing that? Because some of you may know I've already done a review video on remove.bg. Well, in the couple of years since I did that first video, there have been some big improvements to remove.bg with a lot more options and I thought it was time to create a video to show you those new options. So let's jump over to the remove.bg website and take a look. Okay, so if you want to take a look for yourself, the address for the website is remove.bg. First thing to look at is the pricing. With remove.bg, you have the option of setting up a free account. And when you set up that free account, you will get one image credit. Now, an image credit allows you to download your photograph at a high resolution, up to the resolution that you've uploaded. You can't upload a low resolution image and expect a high resolution download. So that will help you to upload a print resolution image and then download that image with the background removed. You also have the option of subscription or pay as you go. If you're going to be doing a lot of removals, then the subscription plan works out cheaper per credit. If you just be using it now and again, but you think you'll use it quite a lot, pay as you go may be a better option. And the credits last for two years from the moment of purchase. Okay, so let's go back to the homepage and take a quick scroll down. So here, it's saying it can remove the backgrounds from images of people, products, animals, cars, and graphics. In that first video uh, of that I did, the first video review, it only removed the backgrounds from people. And so it just gives you a little bit of information. You can go through that in your own time. We'll cover most of that today when I go through this video. So let's upload an image and see how well it does. We'll give it an easy start. So I'll click on upload image, choose this one with a flat color background. Boom, couple of seconds and it's removed that yellow and given a nice clean outline there. Um, this is the preview image, which is a lower resolution. If that is all you require is an image of this size, then you can download that preview image for free and use that. If, however, you need the full size of the version that you uploaded, you will need to use your free credit, or if you've already used that, um, buy some more credits. The high resolution image that you can download has a maximum, uh, maximum size of 25 megapixels, which will be more than sufficient for the majority of people. Okay, so let's try something a little bit more complex. Let's try this image here, which has a drop shadow against a wall and see how well it does. Yeah, it seems to have done a pretty good job. You can click on original and see what was there and then click back and forth. From what I can see, it's done a, it's done a decent job there. It looks like it's removed a little bit across the bottom of the image, but to be honest, that can just be cropped up a little bit higher. Um, it's done a good job of distinguishing the shadows away from the dark of my clothing. Again, a fairly simple um, background removal, but you can see that it's worked. This is a high resolution image that I've uploaded here, 6,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, and I can download that or I can download that preview image. So let's try one more with a much more complex background. This one has me standing next to some logs. So there's a lot going on around me in this image. So let's see how well we do here. Okay, so there's the original again. And if I click on that, I can see here that there is a little bit next to my hat that it hasn't removed, but the rest of it looks pretty good, even in the gap between my arm and my waist there, it's it's removed that and it's transparent. Now, to remove this little bit here, what you can do is you can click on edit and it will bring up the image again. You can click on the magnifier to get a little bit closer in. And then what you want to do is you want to click on erase restore. Now restore brings the background back and erase obviously does what it says on the tin. And you can 
change the size of the brush using this slider. So I'll probably want to make it quite small. And then I can just go in and just delicately remove the rest of that wood there. And you can see now that that's, that's all done. It also gives you the option as well of dropping in replacement backgrounds from a selection of photos or you can upload your own new background into that photo and then if you find one that you like you can click download and download that preview sized version so this would be the full size that you would get again could be fine for social media graphics and things like that really really useful i could also edit in the high res version but again in order to do that i would need to buy a credit and edit in high res there but the benefit of that is i can edit the high res version in my web browser i don't need to open up any um editing software i can do it all within remove bg so i don't want to download anything like that right now so let's try a different image let's try a cat because it says it can do animals so let's see how well it does removing the cat from this background Okay, that seems to have done a pretty good job again. Um, let's go to edit. Let's kind of zoom in. It's going to be a bit pixelated. Um, you can see here around the fur, it's got a little bit of a halo, but this is, you know, it's got some fine detail there. Um, let's drop it on a background, see how that looks. I mean, that looks not bad <laughs> for what it is. Um, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. Whatever background you pick, you can also choose to um, add almost a bokeh effect to it so that it blurs out the background. Again, you could go in and edit if you want. I don't think editing something like fur in the editor inside Remove BG is going to be that great because it's a re really sharp edge to the brush, which isn't going to look natural. But considering, you know, the, the fur on here it's done a pretty good job it'll probably work better on backgrounds um, that suit the you know that are maybe a little bit busier so you don't notice as much um, the edging on the fur so that's done a pretty good job so let's let's keep going try a couple more because um, it says it can do vehicles as well so I've got one of a car so here we can see that it's left a bit along the top um, and it's left the shadow underneath. Um, that could be useful, the shadow. So I don't know if that's part of the algorithm to kind of keep that shadow there so it looks a little bit more um, realistic. Again, considering what's around here, it's done a pretty decent job. And actually now that I look at it, it's actually added in that shadow sounds like that's something that it adds in so that the cropped out car can actually look more realistic on images so that's interesting i'm just not sure about this bit at the top maybe the roof rack is throwing it off a little bit um what else so it says it can also remove graphics so let's try some graphics i've deliberately chosen one here so in this example it's actually failed so it's saying, please select an image with a clear distinction between the foreground and the background. So let me just bring in the image that um, I'm trying to do. And this is the image here. So it's not seeing enough of a difference between the two. So if you are wanting to remove a graphic from a background, it looks like there needs to be quite a strong contrast uh, between the two for that to work. Okay, so one of the other things that um, Remove.bg has is they've got a couple of options. The first option is you can actually install a desktop version of their software. So if I bring that app up to show you, this is it here. It runs on your desktop. You don't need to be connected to the internet and you can drag and drop images in to the app and it will start to um, remove the background, add in colored backgrounds, um, work on uh, preview images, 
and work on full image sizes. The other option is to install an API into Photoshop. Again, this is something I've done. So let's open up Photoshop here. See, I've got an image here with my friend Ross and we're standing against this brick background. So what I can do is I've got the API installed. I go to Window, Extensions and Remove Background and it opens up the Remove BG panel. And then what I can do is I simply, I have to connect it to my account, um, which is easy to do. You just need your API key, which you can get from your account. And then I just click on remove background and it will work its way through the image. You can see here it creates a mask and it's removed that background. Now that looks pretty clean to me. Um, if I go to the layers palette, you'll see here that the mask is still there. So the actual, the original image is untouched. It's duplicated the image and because it's masked, I can then uh, work with feathering, etc., around the image. But that's done a really good job there. And it's done it all from within Photoshop. Um, it cost me one credit to do that. It's kept the image at its full resolution. Um, if I go to 100%, you see there's the full resolution and you can see there how cleanly it's, it's done a pretty good job on the hair. Um, and it's, it's done it. Yeah, it's done a really good job. So I'm happy with, uh, really happy with that result, um, from within Photoshop, but obviously the main name of the game here is that this is browser based. It's really quick. You just drop in your image and it does it within seconds. As we've seen, sometimes it will leave a little bit behind, but they now have editing tools on the website, which they did not have before, where you can remove those little blemishes that remain on your image. Um, if you want to sign up for an account, like I say, you will get a free credit, but I have left a link in the description where if you sign up using my link, you will get an additional image credit just for creating an account. You don't need to buy any credits or subscribe. You will just get an additional free credit for using my link. Uh, so I hope you find that update on remove.bg useful. I know that introducing the high resolution download made a massive difference to me as a professional designer, but it will also make a big difference to anyone that's needing a better quality image with the background removed. I hope you find that update useful. Uh, if you have, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you click the bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And until I see you next time, stay creative folks.